Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your end of April reading. So this is basically for, you know, from now until the end of April. Uh, this is for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start with these cards right here. What do we got for Taurus? have the tower. We do have the tower. This is some sort of fated event, okay? There's unfairness, I mean, with the justice reversed. You may be in defense mode. There could be, the, this is a completion. It's, a, it's the end, okay? It's the end of a relationship. This, But it does bring you something new. It brings you happiness. It could bring you a new relationship. Tens are completion. You know, mirroring the tower, you know, th there's a fated change in a relationship. You may feel the need to push people away. Maybe you're going to want to push. Maybe you are pushing people away. This is unfairness. This is unfair, you know, um unjust ooh things could be a little chaotic this this week you know this at the end of april things could be a little unbalanced obviously okay with these two cards something is not balanced something may not be you know may not be the most harmonious week i mean obviously with this 7 of wands you may be on guard you may be like back up you may this is a loss of self you know if you are experiencing a loss of a relationship or uh you know some sort of breakdown in a relationship you it can certainly cause you to push people away to push others away you know, the tower is the universe, right? It's a universe card coming in to remove something from your life that is no longer serving you. It's not strong anymore. It's not stable. It's not secure. It needs to come down. It needs to, to be removed from your life. I mean, this is what's coming. It's right around the corner, okay? So there's going to be some sort of major change coming in your life. Maybe you haven't been getting what you deserve. Maybe that's the reason. Whatever this is, it's going to cause a little bit of upheaval, definitely. Now, the, the high priestess reversed. This is a loss of self, a repression. You may feel like you just, you know, you need to push people away. Maybe, I mean, if there's an ending of a relationship. Now, a relationship can be with anybody. Relationship could be in a family dynamic. It could be with a partner. It could be work. Could be anything. This is a completion of something that once made you happy. But if you see the rainbow, it's peace. It's going to bring you some sort of peace, even though you may not see it right now. It may bring you a happier relationship. I mean, endings do bring new beginnings because you rebuild. You have to rebuild that structure. So, you know, rebuilding your happiness. There's definitely a completion here, okay? An ending, okay? This is an ending of something that has been really painful for you to endure, maybe painful for you to watch. This is the end. It's the end of the falseness. It's the end of the instability, right? It is, because now you're going to be, like, forced to rebuild, It's the end of an unjust, unfair situation. Okay? 
And it's because you deserve something more stable and secure, right? There could be some tension, absolutely. There could be some petty drama. There could be a bunch of people competing, you know. You could be dealing with people that have hidden agendas, people that bring chaos into your life. You could be dealing with people that don't want to be held accountable for their actions. You could be dealing with some liars or a liar. Definitely painful, Taurus, okay? This is heartache, suffering. But you always know that true suffering brings true growth. So that three of swords is pain. You can't you can't deny it. It's a painful end change. Okay? I mean that is clear. Something is breaking down that needs to break down because you deserve something else. It's just like it's you do. You deserve happiness. The very first card is happiness. You deserve extreme happiness. You extreme you deserve extreme peace. So I feel like there could be a little bit of chaos or upheaval coming this week that may bring a little bit of tension into your life. I have to be honest with you. You may have put your guard up and be like, back up, back up. I mean, that's like what he's saying. He's saying like, back up, this hurts. Whatever it is. Five of Pentacles reverse. This is this is better than upright, actually. Okay. Um, this is going to help you. It's going to help you to come out of the dark period that you've been in, even though you may not see it while it's happening. It's the end. It's the end of the difficulty. Okay. So this is really is a blessing. The tower is a blessing in disguise. So it's like the universe is coming in to remove something that has been pretty painful, okay? It has. I mean, you can't. It has. It's been painful. There's been suffering. It's been painful. And the tower, the universe is coming in to remove it, to complete this, this cycle in your life because, you know, there's no more truth in it. There's, there's, there's... Uh, it's unfair. You're not getting what you deserve. You deserve happiness. So I feel like you you be prepared. Expect the unexpected. Okay? Expect the unexpected. Um, You know, I feel like you're going to you're going to be dealing with people who may just want to pick at you. You know? Do your best to keep your mouth shut, okay? If these people want to pick at you, just, you know, if you need to retreat, retreat. Maybe you got to push people away. Maybe it's like, you know what? I got to push I got to I gotta walk away from this scene. I gotta, I gotta, I'm not gonna play this game. Whoever you're dealing with, they're hurting too. So, we definitely have a completion of a relationship here. It could be with anybody. It's like this relationship isn't stable, it's not secure. Okay? But this is, this is the, uh, this is an exciting opportunity, really it is. You may not see it as an exciting opportunity, but it is. This is going to lead you down a new path, a new adventure. It's an opportunity for growth. It's an opportunity for expansion. This is an opportunity for you to do something new. This is like starting a new end endeavor, okay? You're going to be start somebody is going to be starting a whole new chapter per se. And it's it is exciting even though it may be a little scary. Yeah. Okay. You may you may 
this is overly cautious, emotionally guarded. You're fearful. I think that you probably will be fearful about this new opportunity, this new endeavor. Maybe you're, the universe is pushing you down that new path. I mean, that's what that looks like to me. Is like the universe is saying, okay, it's time to go. What are you passionate about? Because here you go. Get moving. I think the truth, that some sort of truth is being revealed. I mean, you have to accept the truth. You can't deny the truth. There's something that is over here. There's something that is completely done. Decision has been made for you. I think the universe has made a decision that it's time for you to carry on. It's time for you to move along. It's time for you to uh, take that, that path that you were scared to take, that you were fearful of. It's time. It's time for you to go your own way. You know, there's no more, there's no more, you know, illusion here. There's no more confusion. It's like the, it's, you, ha you have no choice now. It's here. It's, you see it because... It's undeniable. The, it's the undeniable truth is, is that it's time for your new life. There's been fear. Okay. Somebody has been, there is, has been fear. I mean, the night of, the night of swords reversed. This is, this is somebody who has been fearful. Not taking action. You have, may have been dealing with a person, or you may be dealing with a person this week that doesn't have your best intentions at heart, so beware. You could be dealing with a cutthroat individual who doesn't care who they hurt, and they have hidden agendas, and maybe they, maybe they want to hold you back. They're, or this is you having fear. Okay, this is definitely having fear. Somebody here is needing to step on to that new path. And that's over here, okay? But the universe is going to force you to face your fear, okay? It's time to go your own way. It's, it's time for your fresh start. It's time for your new beginning. And it feels like somebody's been holding on or there's been a relationship that has been holding them back, some sort of relationship, whatever it is. It's been in fear and lack of faith and lack of confidence and lack of courage has hindered you. It's caused a repression. It's caused a loss of self. And I think that you've been protecting yourself from the outside world, perhaps, or from, you know, your insecurities have been holding you back from... going down that new path whatever it is and i think that you you're you have an opportunity here okay you have an opportunity for love that you may have ignored you may not have seen it you may not have wanted it maybe some you know i you know this is the hand of god offering you an opportunity and it's like you're not seeing it or you haven't seen it or you haven't accepted it for some reason it's like you're just not realizing that this is an opportunity for love. This is an opportunity for emotional fulfillment. I think we have somebody here that's been really focusing on, you know, their past hurts. They've been focusing on everything else. They've been focusing on their home. They've been focusing on their job. They've been focusing on uh, whatever it is, whatever you've been focusing on. You see, he's he's... You know, he's got these three cups up all right upright that he's already accepted okay he's already accepted this stuff this this is something that has made this person happy okay this is like whatever it could be, it could be anything it could be like I said it could be your home it could be your family it could be your kids it could be it's like he said he, he he he's he's happy with what he's got or he's not happy what he's got and like God is saying, here's another opportunity. Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want it? And this person's just like not realizing what is being offered here. There's an opportunity for emotional fulfillment here. It's like, but it's being ignored. It's like you're no ignoring an opportunity. You're ignoring love or something like that.
you could be dealing, this could be the person you're dealing with as well. You could be dealing with a person that's not seeing your opportunity for love. I mean, this person that you're dealing, if it's not you, the person that you're dealing with has been focusing on everything but love. This person, whoever this is, whether it's you or the other person, this person is making a decision. Is Somebody is really thinking about their options here. And I think the decision is being made. There's been lack of awareness. Somebody may be realizing that they didn't make the right judgment call or they haven't made the right judgment call. That they've been unjust. This is lack of truth and this is lack of truth as well. Somebody hasn't been honoring their own truth. And an opportunity may have gone south, okay? They have my, may have lost their ambition. They have, may have lost their drive. And somebody has been thinking about walking away from a situation for quite some time by the looks of things. There's definitely been a delay. There's been a delay in a new beginning here. Fear has been huge. So whether it's the person you're dealing with or it's you... There's been fear. There's been fear of maybe getting in a commitment. Maybe there's been fear of the truth coming out. But this is good news coming. There is something good coming. Somebody's been clinging to the past. Six of Cups, reverse. Somebody's been clinging to the past. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. But that Ten of Swords is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. You could be receiving a message that somebody is deciding to let go of the past. They've been really thinking about it and they've made a decision with that Seven of Cups. Now here we got the King of Cups reversed. This is a person reversed that is emotionally withdrawn, cold. Unable to master their emotions. We have somebody here that doesn't really have anything to offer. This could be your person in the past. Hmm. What? The moon. Okay. So the moon, there's something hidden. There's something going on behind the scenes that you don't know about, Taurus. There is. There is. There's something going on. There's something going on behind the scenes. You could be dealing with somebody who's hiding their true feelings. And maybe they... <sighs> maybe they want to go back. Maybe they want to go back to... This is going... The Eight of Cups reverse is going back or thinking about going back to the past. So somebody here is thinking about going back to the past. I don't know who it is. Okay, I don't know who it is. Um, I don't know if it's you, Taurus, or if it's the person that you're dealing with. Um, there's definitely something going on that you don't, that's hidden. Okay, there is. With the high priestess reverse and this reverse, something is hidden. Somebody may want to go back to a relationship that they let crumble per se so just saying somebody may want to do that i don't know if that's the case you could receive some sort of message you know somebody may want another chance i mean that's what this is you know nine of nine of wands somebody has really they may have realized they've come a long way. They've come so far and they don't want to give up. They don't want to give this up. So somebody may be wanting a chance and they don't want to give it up. They don't want to give it up. They may want to fight for you. They may want to, you know, 
I don't know, protect you? I'm not sure. Um, but this, this, this right here, this judgment card is reverse. That's like no reconciliation. That's no chance. That's no chance. Somebody may be realizing that they lost a chance. Oh God, I don't know what the hell that is. Somebody's been treated unfairly up there by somebody who didn't want to be held accountable for their actions or something like that. And they didn't tell the truth. There's lack of truth here, for sure. With the judgment reversed and the justice reversed right next to each other, there, somebody may have received a good, good old kick in the pants, courtesy of karma, because those are both karma cards. You may be dealing with a person who has received some karma because of their unjust ways, and who knows what, who knows? I don't know. But I do believe that there's a message coming in probably from somebody that you have known before, okay? There's a message coming in with somebody that you have known before. They may want a reconciliation or they may want to come back or who knows what the case is. They may have been fearful. They may be fearful right now. They may have lacked courage, but they may want to rebuild a relationship. I'm not sure if this is for you or who this is for. Um, let's get one of these. Somebody may want another chance. That's what it looks like to me. Now, this doesn't have to be your ex. I mean, it could be. It could be your ex. It could be. It could be. I don't know who this is. You may want a reconciliation with somebody that, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Somebody is realizing that they may that they're losing an opportunity with the four of cups down there. I think that and with the seven of cups reversed underneath it, it's like they're realizing that they may have already lost an opportunity and they may be wanting to get it back. They might be maybe wanting to put in the effort. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who this person is. <clears throat> Trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. So you may receive an invitation or a message from somebody that they they want to build a relationship with you after they have after something has come crashing to the ground, okay? This could be somebody new. This could be somebody old. I don't know who it is. It's like somebody wants to come back into your life after they may have ghosted you. Okay, this is like ghosted you. They may have left you out in the cold. You know, they may, who knows. It's like there's some, there's an opportunity for, to give this one more, to, let's try this again. I don't know who this is for, or who this person is. It, it could be anybody. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. You know, I, this, this situation is calling for you to have trust and faith. We have an opportunity to rebuild or to build a happy relationship after one relationship has come crashing down. This is an opportunity to... Go down a new path after probably being treated unfairly. That's what it looks like to me. Is this somebody new? I don't know. I don't know. It could be. You know, I can't say for sure. I can't say for sure who, who it is. Could be anybody. But it, it, there's an opportunity for happiness here. I think there's going to be a message that comes in from somebody that you know this is somebody that you know right now I mean that's what I that's what I got I don't know who this reading is for you may have your guard up you may feel like you can't trust this person this is your guard is up you can't trust this person this is you know maybe you just you've come a long way maybe you want to just listen I don't know who this person is uh, this is a, you may not even want to accept it. You may be like, you know what, I can't, you, you're really going to have to think about it, put it that way. 
I think you're probably, this is like God offering you an opportunity for love and you being like, you know, I don't know if I can even consider this. So I don't know. I don't know who this is for or if it's for you or who this person is, but this is an offer of love in which you're going to probably be thinking, do I want this or not? Could be with somebody new, could be with somebody old, but I definitely think that you know this person already. Should we get another card? An oracle card? I think we will. <laughs> oh, we're not going to take that. It was more than one. What do we have for Taurus? I think there's somebody here that doesn't want to let you go. And it's somebody you know. Heart chakra. Love is the heart of the matter. <laughs> your heart is the center within your physical being. Attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart. As we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. Love is the heart of the matter. So you are. This is the hand of God offering you love, Taurus. Can you trust it? Can you believe? Can you let go of your insecurities? Don't let the past memories hold you back. If there's somebody from the past that didn't treat you fairly, don't let it let don't let it hold you back and you know from falling in love. There's an opportunity for a relationship here. The past, this, this per, the, past, the past person could still be, you know, hindering you. They could, the, 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 the memories of how they treated you unfairly and how it was unjust, you know, that could be hindering you from accepting this opportunity for love. Let love in. You may be, you may get invited to something, you know, you may get invited to something and you may feel like you don't dare. There's lack of courage and faith, right? There is, like I said earlier here, there is. Have faith and trust. The fool reverse, I don't, I don't trust, I don't believe, you know, you can't live like that forever. There's an opportunity for a happy relationship here. I say, give it a chance. Get to know this person, whoever it is. Good luck. <laughs>